but this is like kind of the time that I have worried about since you guys were born. Yeah, yeah. And it's coming to fruition. And they just grow up and they leave you. Hey everyone. It's Tuesday afternoon and guess who I'm talking to? Katie! Hi Katie Kate! Ah! What are you doing Katie? Tell her what you're doing. I am, well, I'll give you two guesses. But not you guys because you already know. I'm talking about the ones watching. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Their first guess was wrong. Uh, they said laundry. Oh, it's not laundry. This will give it away. Yeah! Ah, she's packing for the cruise! I was like, it's so not Cam just got home, she's gonna pack too. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. Oh my yes. <laughs> We're very excited. Fantastic. Look at my list, look at my list. Oh, Katie, nice! You're very I'm organized. Hairstyle. I thought that was fine. I thought that was you. <laughs> I'm honored. Yeah, Ryan. Ryan, should we pack? Are you in a packing mood or do you need to wait a couple days? Like, because Ryan has no Ryan school on Friday. Ryan must start packing. He has no school on we'll Friday, be, though. <laughs> we'll be quick. Um, oh my gosh, I'm just so excited. I can't breathe. Okay. So these are coming. This. Yes. Katie, you'll coming. have to share your um, you? list with Cam. Wait, what did you say, Mom? You'll have to share your list with Cam. It's been a while since she's been on a cruise and her mom's like, what should we bring? Oh yeah, yeah, I told I we we've been going through it a little bit. Um, I've been telling her what I'm packing. She said she was gonna take a picture of my list. So, you know, I I have some good news and some bad news. Let's hear it. My good news is oh, we get to. I can't forget socks. That we're all going on a cruise together, which I think is fantastic. The, the bad. And everybody's getting so excited about the cruise. We are just days away. Today is Tuesday. We leave on Saturday. So that's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Only four days away. And everybody's sort of starting to pack and finishing up school and getting everything ready. So Ryan and I are on our way to the grocery store. Yay. Not necessarily to get cruise stuff. We're just getting dinner for tonight. Right. But right. we're going to talk about the cruise because that's what we love to do. We love, we love talking about our vacations, whether we've already taken them or whether they are coming up. Mm -hmm. Talking about vacation exactly. spots. So this cruise is, um, well, all of our cruises are special. All of our travel is special. We try to make everything as memorable as possible. Yeah. This one is special in a way that makes me very sad. It is the last vacation that we will be able to do for spring break as a family for a pretty long time. We've had some great spring break adventures. England was probably my favorite. Oh yeah. So we've had, been fortunate, you know, the kids have all been in school together, of course, through like elementary, middle and high school. So their spring break is where the same time always. So we just- yeah scoop the family and go um and then last year they weren't at the same time you and katie were at the same time because you were in high school and brennan was different because he was in college but we managed to pull you guys out of school for a couple of days and do a nice break with katie and you and brennan and dad and i we went um sailing in Key West. Yes. That, that was, was so super cool. fun. In the meantime, Ryan and I are shopping at the grocery store. We are making salmon BLTs tonight. We grilled salmon on Sunday. We had some extra leftover. We're like, okay, salmon BLT. So we need some avocado. We're gonna make garlic aioli, which I've never made before. I'm pretty excited about that. We need some lemon juice for the garlic aioli. We need some french fries. We're gonna put those in the air fryer. We have the salmon. We're get, we got the bread. We should bake it. Bacon. And the most important ingredient beside this, the salmon is the bacon. Do you have a preference? No. All right. There's all kinds of bacon. So back to my story. Since all three kids have spring break at the same time, of course we were going to go on some type of vacation and a cruise is the most economical and the easiest and all that stuff for us. So um, we're cruising again and it hit me that like, thank you, Ryan, that this potentially could be the last spring break that we do together in a long, long time. And, you know, I knew that we needed to take advantage of the time because they were all gonna have break at the same time, but it didn't really occur to me that this might be the last time that that would happen. 
But like, even so, I, I guess what I'm thinking is, you know, Brennan is a sophomore in college. So next year, he doesn't have spring break the same time we do. And at some point, he's gonna wanna go on college spring break. Like, he's gonna wanna do spring break with his buddies, you know? Yeah. And Katie's gonna wanna do the same. And eventually, they're gonna get jobs and they're gonna move away. And that is gonna be terrible. <laughs> and I don't mean to sound so doomsday, but like, I mean, we'll still go on vacation. We'll still like vacation as a family, but the, the times that are available that all of us can be together are. Yeah, this exactly right. I think like this is the sort of I don't want to say the beginning of the end, but this is like time. the time that I have worried about since you guys were born. Yeah, yeah. And it's coming to fruition. All right, so time out from Cruise Talk for just a quick second. I am making garlic aioli. I've never made aioli before. As a matter of fact, I'm not even sure that I know what aioli is. Last night, I went to Mike and I went to dinner with our friends at the pool, and my friend Joy brought a little thing of aioli. I was like, wow, that's pretty good. It's kind of like a dip. So anyway, um, it just so happens that the Salmon BLT calls for aioli. So I pulled this off of Google, and or off the interwebs. It's homemade garlic aioli recipe. Um, lemon garlic. So it calls for mayonnaise, a half a cup of mayonnaise, one large garlic clove minced, which I'm just gonna use. Hey, hey, pipe down. I'm gonna use chopped garlic. And one and a half teaspoons of stone ground mustard, but I'm gonna use Dijon, because that's what I have. Two teaspoons of lemon juice and one eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. This is to just blend it all together and then put it in a little dish in the refrigerator and let the flavors meld together. And then we'll use that as the spread for our salmon BLTs. So I made the aioli. It is in the refrigerator. Let me show it to you. It's like a, you know, it's kind of like a, the thickness of a ranch dressing. You guys probably know what aioli is. Holy aioli. What I aioli? know, Mike. I was just saying I've never made it before and I didn't even really know it was. Tell me what you think. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Pretty impressive. That's going to go on our sangies. Homemade aioli. Yes. Mayonnaise, cayenne, garlic, lemon, and mustard. Done. Put a little chiffette. <laughs> a chefette. <laughs> Thank you. And you, my friend, are quite the Orville Redenbacher. Thanks. <laughs> chefette. So today is Tuesday. We're living mm -hmm. in four days mm -hmm. for our cruise. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start packing. Mm -hmm. This time, it being sort of our last opportunity, I think, maybe, to be on spring break together, I wanted oh. to make it very special. Did you, do you realize that? <laughs> I, I know. know. Well, mm. not us. The three of us can still vacation together. So I decided to um, plan some excursions. Oh. And Ryan knows a little bit about this because Ryan and Brennan and I were on a Zoom mm -hmm. meeting the other night talking about, we sort of went through some ideas, but you don't know where we landed with it, do you? No. No. Some, some things that we've never done before. How about something dangerous? Yo, yeah, we have something dangerous on there. Ryan, you're gonna do something dangerous. Can't wait. Woo! I feel so passionate about making sure that this vacation is is very family oriented because of the fact that I feel like the kids are slipping through my fingers, you know, like as they, I know it sounds so dramatic, Mike, but it's so true. Like this is the time that I knew was going to come that I didn't want it to come. Mm -hmm. um, so anyway, I want to make sure that we maximize our time together, that we make as many memories as we can, because to not do that would be a shame if we're on there, you know, we're like, eh, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Like when we could have had the opportunity to learn new things and discover new places together. And some of our most favorite stories to laugh at when we are together are stories from our travels. Like when we traveled to England, when we lost Ryan on the underground, or when we rode the horses in Rocky Mountain National Park, or even that time that we went to Mount Vesuvius in Italy. So we're looking forward to making more memories and discovering together on this spring break cruise. I can't wait to share with you what we're gonna be doing. See, it's starting already. I knew it was gonna happen. There's a, a lacrosse game tonight for our school and a lot of my friends are on the lacrosse team, so we'll see. Cats but, in uh, the cradle and the silver know, spoon. Little uh, boy blue and the man on the moon. This is exactly what I'm talking about, you guys. This is why we need to take advantage of all the times that we can be together because we're not gonna be together that much longer. No. And they just grow up and they leave you. And they just leave you behind. No, they don't leave you behind. But they they keep calling. <laughs> they keep calling. I spent almost all day with you. You did, and I appreciate that. 
And you can show me the grocery store. So listen, Dad and I are going to eat, but you can eat when you get back, and I'll sit with you and chit-chat with you. Perfect. We'll okay. have a nice dinner. In the meantime, there's Mike. Mike, what are you doing? <laughs> can you guys guess? I have a two-prong problem. What's your problem, Mike? I have a broken garbage disposal and no power to the garbage disposal. Oh. Yes. Project one is complete and now I have power. Now I'm trying to install a new garbage disposal. Okay. No easy task, I have to say. No, but I have all the faith in the world in Thank you. Thank you, sweetheart. Yes, you're, you're a very good Mr. Fix-It. <laughs> Congratulations. Or as Judy says, Johnny on the spot. Johnny on the spot. You are Johnny on the spot. <laughs> okay, darling. <laughs> this could be the best day of my life or the worst day. All right, you guys. Mr. Self-Reliant. Fantastic. I hope you like it. My friends laughed. They are such a hoot. Anywho, I wanted to share with Mike and Ryan and you guys a few things about what we planned on for this cruise because it's a little bit different is that we are cr uh, cruising this time with friends. So there's a whole other family going with us. So we want to make sure that we are intentional about carving out family time. So we're hanging with our friends, which is cool, but we're, there's also family time that we can have. What so some of these, people. yeah, totally. We love, love, love them. But I know that they want family time too. Like, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? They want to sort of like, so a couple things they're going to go off and do their own. A couple things we're going to go off and do our own. You know, we're going on the same cruise ship that we went on for New Year's before COVID. Oh. Yeah. So a long time ago, but we love, love, love this ship. But we're going to the same two locations that we went on our last New Year's cruise. So we've been on this ship before and we've been in this itinerary before. So we're trying to plan something that's going to be new and different, like new one, fun, fun experiences. I'm jazzed to be on the same ship though. We love this ship. So to re-explore the ship and to rediscover it. Uh, but as far as excursions go, we are going to be in two places. I mentioned this earlier, Key West and Cozumel. Ooh. And in Key West, you ready for this, Ryan? You know what you're doing in Key West? <laughs> you guys are going to go triple parasailing. Oh! You and Brennan and Katie. Is, yeah, the three of you up in a parasail. Like where you get pulled behind a boat? Yes. Way up in the sky with a parachute behind you. Dude, no shot. Are you excited? Yes, I'm excited. <laughs> we need to charge the GoPros and get... Oh, uh, totally. I have them downstairs ready to go. Oh, they slow the boat down, dip me in. Yeah. That's so cool. Yes. So the three of you up there together. So you guys want to see that? Let us know. It's going to be awesome. That's the great thing is fun. we get a huge discount because they lost a few people last time. So... <laughs> <laughs> that is so not true. <laughs> There's a hole in the parachute. <laughs> um, and then the second thing is, so, so the second day we're going, or the, whatever, the second port stop is going to be in Cozumel. And in Cozumel, in the past, we've done beach things. Like we've gone to the beach or we've gone, like we did that snorkel thing where you put the helmet on and all that stuff. This time we thought we would change it up a little bit. We had so much fun when we went to Italy and we hired a private driver to take us in Italy to, in Rome, right. to take us around. Awesome. So Ryan... We've hired a private driver. What? Yes, to take us and our friends, so all 10 of us, through Cozumel. And we can just say, basically, take us here, there, wherever. They're going to make recommendations. Fire. So on, on the in the van, there's a private driver and a um, tour guide. So there's two day? people. No, not yet. But they did email me yesterday. Oh, they did? Yes. So that's going to be super duper fun. So I feel like what we're doing is we're making this 
special. You know what I mean? Still family time because the parasailing is just going to be our family. Then the, uh, cause I know that uh, our other friends want, they've never been to Key West before. So they want to do something different. They want to like go out and visit Key West and then Cozumel will all be together, but we can go see ruins. We can go eat authentic Mexican food. We can learn how to make salsa, like all kinds of fun stuff and go to the beach if we want to do it. So it's going to be really, really fun. Mm. So it's my intention again, or our intention to make this a special trip. And well, I... Uh, well, it's either going to be great and awesome memories that we share for a lifetime or someone goes to the hospital and gets injured. <laughs> Mike is always doom and gloom. Why do you, why <laughs> do you say doom and gloom? There's no guarantees, it's gonna be. It could be middle of the road. It's going to be fantastic. No. Yes, it is going to be fantastic. No, something's going to go terribly wrong, I think. So when it comes to family time and especially just saying family time now, I'm definitely a planner. We are very intentional about the way we spend our family time. Um, and we want to make sure that we, that we leave like no stone unturned and we think of everything, of all the possibilities, you know what I mean? To plus up a vacation or plus up our time together or what, what can we do to make it extra special? So hopefully, <laughs> you know, life is all about making memories, Mikey Mike. It's going to be something. It's good. Yes. <laughs> Whatever it is, we'll remember it and we'll talk That's about for it for sure. a long time. That That's is what we're sure. hoping. So again, life is about making memories. If you want to live without regrets, which go. is my thing, let's go. I say, do all the things, meet all the people, create all the amazing, adventurous experiences you can for your family so we can grow together, love together, and have memories to last a lifetime. Fire out. Because the difference between an ordeal and adventure is? Your attitude. You guys, thank you so much. Stay tuned to see what we do. And, um, Comment down below which which um, excursion you're more excited to see, the parasailing or the VIP tour of Cozumel. And what made me happy today definitely was my friends coming over. Actually, that was really, really fun. <laughs> I, I thought I was going to be talking about the cruise because it is fun, but my friends coming over. Comment down below what made you guys happy today. We'll see you. Oh, hey, also, before you do that, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I wanted to point you to the video when we were in um, – Rome. Oh. And we missed the tour of the Vatican. Oh. And I started crying. <laughs> so hopefully it's not a disaster like that. <laughs> See you guys later. Take care. Bye. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.